girl, you're so fine. I can't get you off my mind, ooh girl, na na, ooh girl, na na. Baby girl, don't need to flex. Dance to the rhythm and you do all the rest, ooh girl, na na, ooh girl, na na. Fill me up with dreams, the only thing I need. When I'm down, lift me up with your company. There's no telling what you and me creating. We're on the same wavelength. What is up everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you saw the title, I hope that you are excited as I am. Today we are unboxing another box of Target kitchen and home decor returns, at least I hope that's what they sent me because that's the box that I asked for, but I haven't opened it yet. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It came earlier, the box is heavy, so I'm really excited to see what they sent me today. I do wanna start by saying hello, my name is Katie. If you are new here, I live in Orlando and I do all like home decor videos, pretty much anything to do with like Target, Walmart, home decor, home goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, stores like that, and unboxing these Target return boxes. So if you love videos like that, definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. I also wanna mention that We Bargain did send me this box, so thank you so much to We Bargain for sending me the box. They're not sponsoring this video, but you guys loved the last video so much that I was like, Dear We Bargain, will you please send me another box to unbox for my YouTube channel? And they were like, sure. So now the box is here. I'm so excited to open it for you guys. If you haven't heard of We Bargain and you haven't seen part one, I will link it down below so you guys can go and check that one out after. I'm gonna do the exact same thing where we're gonna go through the entire box and then I'm gonna total it up at the end and we're gonna do what it was worth versus what the box would cost if you purchased it. On their website, they are a liquidation company, so they sell return boxes from all different companies. They do like Amazon clothing returns, Target returns, Target kitchen and home decor boxes, Walmart boxes, Walmart clothing. They do electronics, they also sell pallets, so that's even more stuff. Definitely go ahead and check out their website and if you wanna get yourself a box, they actually gave me a code this time, so you can use the code KDV15 for 15% off your Wee Bargain box if you wanna pick one up. Definitely let me know if you end up picking one up. A lot of people loved the first video and said that they wanted to pick one up. So I wanted to get another one because the first one was really good, but I don't know, I just feel like there's like endless goodies that you can get in your box, so I'm dying to open this thing. So let's not delay it any further. Let's go ahead and crack open this new Target Wee Bargain box and see what goodies we got today. Okay, so I have my trusty Cutco knife. I started cutting open the top. But, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see what's inside of this box. <gasps> oh, there's a pillow on top. Oh my gosh. I love throw pillows. <laughs> what a good start. We bargain April unboxing. Thank you for your business. Oh my gosh, there's a pillow on top. I'm so excited. Okay. <gasps> this box has so much good stuff in it. Okay, so we're going to... Oh, it's so cute. It has buttons. All right, Katie, get it together. Okay, so the first thing in the box is this pillow. It is just like a knit pillow and it has buttons on it. I don't know if I've ever seen this pillow before. Rizzy Home. Maybe this is like something that they sell online. Or maybe they didn't send me, oh. It's not a Target home decor box. It's just like a Target box. There's a pair of shoes in here. Okay, so first things first, this pillow. I can't even like get through all this stuff fast enough. <gasps> okay, what's this? It's heavy. This is probably what made the box so heavy. Project 62 wall decor. So it's like these three little like wooden um, like hexagonal planks. Can you guys see that? This is so cute. This is actually something we would totally hang up. I feel like I know a couple different places that this would fit really perfect. So that's super exciting. I've never seen this before. It is by Project 62, so that's super fun. Okay, the next thing is another shower curtain. They love to send shower curtains. This is the third shower curtain. Oh my gosh, another one? This is the third shower curtain I have gotten from them. This one is by Project 62 as well. This might be the Target Premium Home Decor Returns with an emphasis on home decor. I'm not really sure, but I do see some things in here that aren't home decor. So this shower curtain, which is actually really cute. It's like a gray-ish design. I actually think that that might work really well because in our bedroom we are doing more black accents and none of the shower curtains I have. Oh, bath towel. No, this is definitely a shower curtain. It like has the hook things at the end, but really cute, a new shower curtain. I'm so excited to see like what this box totals versus like how much it would cost if you bought it on your own. All right, digging in, a crushed thing of printer ink, Epson 220. 
Actually, this might work for Brian's printer. Can you use different companies' ink and different printers? He just had me get him some ink and it was like 220. Okay, what's this? Let it rip, slingshot, target, launch, target your launch. What is this? A little like slingshot toy. I feel like there's like so much stuff in here compared to last time. Maybe because that was like the home decor one. <gasps> Walkie talkies. This is literally a blast from the past. <gasps> I'm gonna make Brian and I use these from like his office to like the couch or something. <gasps> How fun. Built in Morse code, send secret messages. I mean, you can definitely tell that this has been open and I don't even know if this is something they sell at Target. I don't know what box they sent me. There's a lot of Target stuff, but I'm honestly currently unsure. Okay, next up is, oh cool, a charging cable. This is USB-C charging cable, so this could work for my computer or it could also work for Brian's cell phone, so that's really cool. Heyday is Target's like electronic brand. They have a bunch of this stuff, so that's really cool. A four foot compatible USB-C enabled device. I hope it works. Okay, the next thing is iPhone 11 Pro Max silicone case. I have an iPhone 12, and I think there's another one too, barely there for iPhone X or XS. So this is my old phone, now I have the iPhone 12. So if you have an iPhone 10 or an iPhone 11, let us just know if you need a new case. Okay, next we're gonna grab this. Um, 84 inch sheer curtain, softly filters sunlight to maintain room brightness. And it's just like a really pretty like grayish. It's just this pretty little pattern right here. It's just like a sheer window panel. You only get one panel, so if I wanna use these, I would have to buy more. But I really like the design. They're really pretty. I actually feel like it would go really well either in like our bedroom or even here in the kitchen. Um, so I'll have to see if they still sell those. Okay, next up, this is funny because I literally already own these boots. They are a pair of shoes. So they actually sell boxes that are like clothing and you get like 50 pieces of clothing, but you don't get to pick the size. So like some stuff might fit, some stuff might not. They also have like um, Target shoe boxes. So you get like a whole box full of shoes, all different sizes and stuff. Um, but these are a pair of boots that I already have, which is super funny. They're by Universal Threads. And they're like black boots, but they're open on the side. So like your foot kind of like shows. They're really cute and comfortable. I have them in like all three colors that they came out in last year. And these are a size 10. They're originally $35, but they were clearance to $25. I really wasn't expecting to get shoes in the box, so I'm a little bit speechless. Um, so, shoes, you know? All right, let's keep digging. What's the next thing? Oh my gosh. Ooh. Another like rocket product. Rocket Science. Flying model rocket starter kit. Brian is literally gonna love this. I think I've mentioned it like maybe one time on here, but both Brian's parents work in aerospace engineering and he wants to go back to school maybe someday to do some sort of like engineering or science degree to start another company because um, he currently owns his own company, but he is really passionate about like science and engineering and that sort of thing. So someday he would love to go back and do something like that. So I really feel like he's gonna get a kick out of this and wanna put it together right away and see how high his rocket goes. <laughs> Okay, next item, Flawless Dermaplane Glow. So this is a dermaplaning tool. I actually do dermaplane my face. It's like where you shave your face, which I know some people are like, you shave your face? But it just takes off like all the peach fuzz and the dead skin and it like doesn't grow back faster or darker, anything like that. And it's just so good to get the dead skin off your face. It just makes your face like so smooth and like so like, I don't know, like clear, cause you really get off like all the gunk. Because even though like you couldn't be crazy about like washing your face and taking your makeup off and stuff, like I don't know, I just feel like stuff just gets like trapped in there. I know that probably sounds so gross, but dermaplaning really helps with that. You can go to a salon and get it done, or there's also like tons of YouTube videos about like how to do it. I haven't done my full face in a while, um, just because in Florida it's so humid and it really, I don't know, I just feel like my face like sometimes feels a little bit too sticky when I do it, especially because I live in Florida. Um, but I do it on specific parts of my face um, pretty often. So this is actually really exciting. I really hope that this isn't used. So I'm gonna have to inspect this like pretty well. So yeah, this tool is meant to like remove peach fuzz, exfoliate, it is dermatologist approved, and it comes with six replacement heads. So oh, okay, so even if someone did use the main head, there's six replacement heads, as long as they didn't like buy it and just take the replacement heads. But yeah, I'm super excited about this. 
And yeah, it comes with like the little replacement heads and you can just like put it right on. You don't have to like touch it because the blade is actually pretty sharp because it's just like a little razor. But this is so cool. I'm so excited I got this. Okay, there's been this like big item here the whole time. So let's go ahead and see what this is. Okay, one and a half inch reversible mattress topper. What size bed is this? It doesn't say. Okay, yeah, I'm like searching the packaging and it doesn't say like what size bed it's for. So I'm not exactly sure, but I just think it's like one of those like egg crate things that you like put on your bed when you go to college or something because the bed is super uncomfortable. And this is made by Design, which is Target's brand. You can see the big Target logo right on it. So that is another item. I'm excited to like add this all up and see like if it was more than my last box or less than my last box as far as like value goes. I am very intrigued to see. This one has a lot of items that literally I have no idea like how much that would even cost. So I'm like really excited to add it all up. Okay, the next item, a baby item. Wait, what is this? Too many babies get stuck or even injured. Oh, it's like a mesh crib liner. I have my best friend, she's having a baby, so that could be cool. It just goes up like on the sides of the crib um, so that the baby like can't get their legs stuck on the side of the crib if they're like trying to escape. So that is in here. The like front panel like of the packaging is missing. Um, so at least there's the back panel. Or else I would have had no idea what this is. I don't have any babies. I don't know anything about baby stuff. Just like what I see from my friends and like from my siblings and stuff, but I would have had no idea what that was. Okay, we're down to our last item. What is this? Is this like a curtain or what is this? I really have no idea what this is. I think it's a curtain and it has these two like little ties on it. Let's see if we can find like a tag. Okay, so I found the tag on the inside and it is by Threshold. And it's just like this curtain with these little like bow details on it, I guess. I don't know, we're gonna have to try to look it up on the app and figure out exactly what it is. But again, only one panel. Okay, so now we're gonna go through and scan everything on the Target app and see like what it would be if you bought it in the store. My last box totaled $266. So we're gonna go ahead and see if this one is more or less. Most of the boxes are like around $125 online if you don't have like a promo code or anything, but that's like the base price of them. So my last one was like just about double the value of like what it would cost if you bought it on the website. So I'm really anxious to see if this one is more or less than my last box and how it all compares. All right, so I have my Target app open. Let's go ahead and like get scanning. I'm really hoping that this stuff will be like pretty easily scannable. Pretty easily Animal. First item in and we're already having a problem. I should have, uh, I jinxed myself. Okay, so if you bought this crib liner from Target, it would have been $32.99. So let's go ahead and add that into the calculator. I'm gonna round up for like easy purposes. It's only one penny plus if you add tax. So $33 for the first item. Okay, then for the shoes, we're gonna go off of what the clearance sticker says. So that is $25, $24.49. So we're gonna do plus 25. These phone cases, I'm not really expecting them to be worth anything because these are really, really old phones but we'll see hopefully they still come up on the app oh my gosh i just got this to scan this phone case on the target app is still 40 dollars. it is an apple branded phone case which i didn't realize until like i just started looking at the packaging so we're adding plus 40 dollars to the total oh my gosh i'm literally so shocked <laughs> What is it? 
No. Oh, never mind. Okay, while he plays with that and figures that out, I went ahead and looked up this pillow on the Target app, and this pillow originally goes for $44.99. This pillow, this is a brand that is only on Target.com. So this pillow is really cute. I will link it down below for you guys if you are interested. I'll try to link whatever I can down below if you guys want. But yeah, so I got this pillow for $44.99. So we're gonna go ahead and add $45 to our total. It's missing the part. Okay, well he freaks out about that. We're gonna go ahead and scan in this wall decor. I'm pretty sure that this might be about to be a lot more expensive than the other box that we got. This might be the Target Premium Home Returns box. I asked for the Target Kitchen and Home Decor box, but I mean, I can't really control the one that they actually sent me, but this one has been really fun to go ahead and like, you know, see other stuff that might come in the boxes. But let's go ahead and scan in this wall decor. Okay, so if you were to buy this online at Target, it would be $25, so that's gonna go ahead and add $25 onto our grand total. We're gonna go ahead and scan this, we're gonna go ahead and scan again, and that's gonna add $30 curtain panel. I don't really know exactly what it would be called, but oh, we found it super easy. Oh my gosh, this stuff is like all still on here. So for one curtain panel of this, it goes for $34. So we're gonna do plus 34. I can't wait for you guys to see the total. And then the last item we have to add is this white curtain panel. So that is by like threshold. I'm just gonna type in like threshold cream. I don't even know, curtain panel with bow accents. I don't really know exactly what it would be called. Oh yeah, yeah. okay. I was able to find it on the app and at one curtain panel is $25. And so that is everything, and that's gonna bring the grand total for this box to $380. So that's over $120 more than my last box, and the price of this box would originally be $125. So that is honestly a great value, and you'll see like if you have a family, there'll probably be something in there for everybody. I got a wide variety of items in this box, so this was super fun. I definitely am hoping to do this like every single month. So definitely let me know down below if you wanna keep seeing Target boxes or if you'd be interested in seeing like a clothing box or a Walmart box or potentially an electronics box. They have a ton of different boxes on their website. So go ahead and peruse the website and let me know down below what box you'd want to see me open next. These are seriously some of my favorite videos to do and I know that you guys love them so much. So if you love this video, definitely make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss all the future unboxing, salvage, decor, item, box, target, return things that I do next time. So definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button and thank you so much to We Bargain for sending me this box. But that is gonna be it for me and I will see you next time. Bye guys!